so yeah, basically, uh, Ryla tried to go off into uh, that fucking what's his Noel, that Noel's guy's place, and the Noel fucked his shit right up, and then Ryla yep. uh, disappeared off into the Nether Realm, the uh, the Bleak Gate, with his little uh, Gate Crasher charm. Got it the fuck out of Dodge. And, <laughs> That's right. Uh, you did. You did come back into the normal round, didn't you? Uh, uh, yeah. In five minutes' time, he will. Yeah. yeah. You've got to complete the thing, but you got you got away like five minutes. Blah 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 blah. Right. Uh, and little did you know, uh, that you also turned up uh, unwounded. <laughs> Uh, back at the house where the others are awaiting for you. The, the cottage, I should say, not the house. Does he? Cottage I can't like remember. A Does the bleak gate. It's not like ethereal where you can kind of see the real world, is it? It's like its own world. It is its own world. It's often a mirror of the world in terms of like things and stuff, and they are somewhat intertwined, but you can't see anything that's on yep. one gate or the other. Okay, so he's got no idea that he's being double gated. Correct. So, uh, this is where we go, hmm, holy fuck, what's gonna happen? <laughs> as players, as people, we go, hi, Everything friend, how are you? Yeah. <laughs> how are you, assholes? <laughs> uh, so, unless anyone has anything to do for the remainder of the night the next morning comes around isn't soccer only in the bleak gate for five minutes yes oh yeah what do you do oh, yeah. sorry yes good point thank you for reminding me uh <clears throat> in five minutes i fucking head back <laughs> you, turn, you turn up back at the house uh yeah okay so you go up to the cottage <laughs> and uh you you knock on the door now you're in a bit of a state if i'm not wrong uh, yes. You know, you were beat the fuck up somewhat. I yeah, I got I got super fucked up. I almost died. Actually, I did sort of die, but thankfully I got the bleak gate and then um short rested. Caught your breath. Used the whole <laughs> a whole bunch of healing surges, yes. So, uh you go ahead and you knock on the door. Now, it's probably been about 20 30 minutes all up for you to get back to here. Uh Someone roll me... How many people are in this house? Uh, the party and... So how many people is the party? Five, right? Uh, four? Dimitri, <laughs> Zambro, Other Ryla, um, and JD. Orthoff. So that's four? Okay, technically Uranus as well. Oh, yes, yes. I, I know he's probably not going to come back, but technically Uranus. Uh, someone roll, Uranus. Me, roll me a D5, please. So D10. Uh, and a 1 or a 2 means that the false Rylar is going to open this door. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. I thought he had already had. No, as in when you when you knock on it, go to open it. Because it's locked when you get oh, 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 okay. Sorry, yeah. Okay, so that's going to be... Oh, we didn't figure out who the rest were. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just going to go down the party list. Uh, False Ryla is 1, 2. Uranus is 3, 4. Dimitri is 4, 5. So, uh, it's 5, 6. So, Dimitri, you open the door, and you see a messed up Ryla standing on the doorstep. Right, Dimitri. Uh, Dimitri, we, we have a problem. Oh, fuck. Dimitri, I've who been... is it? How... How long has it been since other Ryla came in? Like, 25 minutes. <laughs> the hell did no, you no. do in the last 20 minutes? That that fucking Noel isn't a goddamn Noel. I don't know what he is. Oh, but he fucked me up real bad. I had, I had to escape. Oh, actually, speaking of that gatecrasher charm. Uh, hold ah, fuck me. Eh, could have been worse, I guess. Alright. Did you just go out? Did you just, like, sneak out, like, ten minutes ago? Like... I... 
I was gonna take care of the knoll. Ah, you know, yes, take and care you of did, him. And you said that was all taken care of. What? Huh? No, I I just got back. He's not a fucking knoll. He's some weird metal thing. I saw it. I saw it. Right. You, yeah, you would have seen like the inside of it. Absolutely. Yeah, he's some uh, fucking weird metal thing. So Dimitri is gonna do a. I guess would it be a insight check? Because he's obviously gonna be pretty fucking like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> oh yeah. I don't know if it's insight. I think. Yeah, I don't. I don't think you need to roll. This is a very confusing situation. What he's yeah. saying obviously doesn't make sense. But so, it's not an insight because he's not technically lying. Yeah. This is a nonsensical situation. And you hear from the lounge, uh, other Ryla, Dimitri, who is it? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I, I peer past Dimitri to see where that voice is coming from. And uh, you see like him appear at the, the end of a you know, short door uh, corridor. And he goes, uh, oh my god, it's obviously an imposter. And <laughs> pulls out his weapon. And points it I, at you. He doesn't shoot, but he points it at you. I'll pull out my, my gun and point it at him as well. I will go <laughs> that the weapons are different. Ah. So which weapon are you pulling out, Ryla? Uh, I will pull out my the uh, eschatologist pistol, yeah. Okay, he pulls out a fairly run-of-the-mill magic crossbow. It does look like the frost hand crossbow that Ryla has used in the past. Everybody put weapons down. Everybody get in lounge now! Except for that <laughs> obvious imposter, he says. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Imposter? You're the fucking imposter! I once read a romance novel like this while I was on an excavation <laughs> trip once. <laughs> Fucking However, it ended like very differently yourself. from how I'm expecting. <laughs> <laughs> he, he takes off his shirt. Ah, oh, yes, this is exactly how it went. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is going exactly how I remember now. <laughs> now kiss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I so, just... so he, oh, he keeps his weapon trained on you. He says, we, we can't let him in. This is... Obviously a ruse by Lyagier. Also, I just realized Ryler has a 9 intelligence. That makes things, <laughs> <laughs> things have a lot of man. perspective. Oh dear. He's the <laughs> smartest man here. <laughs> Hopefully this guy's not too smart then. Uh, yeah. yeah. Ryler is like, maybe I am the imposter. <laughs> <laughs> I turned the gun on myself. <laughs> oh, you didn't um, expect that, did you? <laughs> uh, oh, Jesus Christ. All right. I think we need to ask a question that only the true Rylar would know. All right, um, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> who am I, Rylar? Who am I? <laughs> I mean, you're you're Trabro. He's very obviously Trabro. <laughs> <laughs> Am I? Who am I? Well, what? let let him answer first. If I answer first, it kind of defeats the purpose. Well, he's obviously just wanting to get the answer from me. <laughs> <laughs> I said, "All right, there's a very simple way to to figure this out. I'll uh, hold out my arm, and I'm, I'm going to shoot myself in the arm." What? <laughs> <laughs> and this is a very stupid thing that does lean in the favor of this being the true Rylar. I am oh, going to say dear. that because this isn't like an attack, like a normal attack, you're not, you know, grazing or hurting someone, this will render that arm useless until you've completed three long rests. Unless Holy you're just shit. Gonna, unless you're just like grazing yourself, in which case it'll be fine, but depends what you're trying to prove here. Uh, oh, I was going to... Probably not... Through the, uh, you know what? Let's use a different weapon. 
I mean, you know, it'd be... <laughs> yeah, just take the knock gun out. <coughs> I'll, uh, uh, let's see. Actually, I don't have anything that's non lethal. Well, like, it doesn't have to be non lethal. Like, what I'm saying is, if you're going to point the arm to your, uh, point the gun to your arm and fire it, it's going to do the damage that a gun at point blank range to your arm without trying to dodge it is going to do. But yeah. if you're just trying to, like, draw blood to show that you can draw blood, that's fine. But okay, it yes. depends on what you're going to do here. Yeah, uh, I'll, yeah, I just want to draw blood. Okay, so you, like, hold the gun to the you know, the side of your, your skin of your arm, fire it, and it, you know, a knife could have done this, but a gun does it even more loudly and impressively. <laughs> <laughs> but you do start bleeding quite profusely, and there's a bit of burnt skin, and it smells bad. Uh, and he goes, what is that supposed to prove? And he pulls out a knife uh, and slices his palm. And blood fro- flows freely from his arm. Or from his palm, sorry, not his arm. He cuts his palm and his arm bleeds. Well, he's the obvious imposter. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, at this, this point... I, I didn't think this plan through very well. Could I please get... Actually, I'll do this. I will do it. Oh, that's unfortunate that also have an Arana sound here. But Ryla, Cause they're smart. you you yes. see something here. I do? Okay. Yeah, let me switch to you. Check, uh, check, check his hand. Check his hand. He uh, holds his hand forwards, and uh, again, a roll is made. Damn it! Fucking ah! All right, <laughs> Ryla, Dimitri, and Zambro, you all see him like do a, a small flick of the wrist and a bit of sleight of hand and put something into his pocket as he reaches his palm out, uh, extending it bloodily towards you. Uh, all right, that was very suspicious. <laughs> 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 Just like something that I would do. I mean... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. I love it. He's like, what is suspicious? What, this? And he pulls something out of his pocket and it's a little handkerchief. He goes, I was just holding it to stem the flow of blood. I don't, I don't think Ryla owns a handkerchief. I, I stole this off of uh, Liagier when I went to go and spy on Liagier. I would have stolen her panties, not of that. He, <laughs> I mean, he another pocket. Jake's in the- <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't. Is it goes, possible oh. they are both Ryla and have been, like, split somehow? <laughs> You're both oh. terrible assholes. <laughs> <laughs> kill you both? <laughs> no, I, I I don't know who this is or what he is, but he's not me. I'm me. This is very obviously a ploy by, by the Gier party. They've, they've they've probably made an attack in, in my skin to to draw attention to He's trying to get us... He's trying to get us... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, Expelled? No, not expelled. Uh, disqualified. The other expulsion. Yeah, disqualified it. from the, the competition. We should kill him and take his body to the the courts so they may, you know, buy our story? <laughs> that That's pretty suspicious because, you know, he, he would normally, Ryla would just normally attack people and be like, yes, I did that on purpose. He wouldn't try and frame it on anyone else. Yeah. But he knows the stakes of this competition. Does he? Do I? I do, of course I do. You are making a logical <laughs> argument. That is not very right. <laughs> Thank you, Dimitri. Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I... Uh, I'm trying to see what I can do. 
Uh, he goes, here, will, will this convince you? And Ryler, what was the at will power he stole from you? Uh, I can't remember. What was that? Uh, wasn't like bullet takedown or something? Precision dart, maybe? Um, I don't remember what he took. Roll a D something. I don't know how many at wills you've got. Let's see. Uh, he, he, he gets to choose, so I'm just trying ah. to remember which one he did. Uh, maybe quick shot? Yeah, because he's got the crossbow. So he must have done quick shot. I don't think you have many others, do you? Uh, I have four. Bullet takedown, hidden stab, precision dart, and quick shot. So he he uses quick shot. Now he does a little uh, 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 fire from his crossbow, you know, an item in the, the ceiling, nailing it centrally and uh, dances off to the left and fires another shot. Uh, and it looks the same sort of uh, prowess that Riley usually exemplifies with the crossbow. Because, do you know any old imposter that could do such awesome awesomeness? I would never say that. <laughs> awesome awesomeness? Really? Yeah. Awesomely awesome. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he does a little pose. Like Zoro. Rylar. <laughs> Guys, he come on. Are you in the air with his crossbow bolt. <laughs> are, are you serious right now? Come on. Look at this <laughs> shit. Is that me? That's not me. <laughs> Maybe how you be... yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it's not you, it's just how everyone perceives you. <laughs> uh, Dimitri will say, um, Ryla, do you remember yes. that time that, uh, that we went on a boat ride together and you told me how sorry you were for all the terrible things you did? What was the what were the words you said to me? Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but this never happened. Yeah? Correct. Bola yes. Decided. I was gonna say Ryla <laughs> <are> apologizing? What? <laughs> Roll me a deception. Okay. Deception. I don't have it. Oh, uh bluff, sorry. In fourth edition. Bluff. My bad. Oh, there we go. Oh my god! What, are you serious? That's... Is someone as awesome as me having something to apologize? Get the fuck out! I mean, that, that... it sounds right to me. Dim Dimitri. Yes? I'm sorry for that thing that the three of us did, did to you back at the place to get the guy from the thing. I can't say it so he doesn't figure out what I'm trying to tell you. Uh, I too am also sorry for that thing. About pen and paper. You write down the thing you're sorry for, you write down the thing you're sorry for. Okay. It's like I'll... a game of, like, uh, what's it called? Except there's, like, life and death stakes involved. He, he goes, <laughs> alright then, and he, he takes a step towards you, Dimitri, like, with his hand out for the, the paper. Uh, uh, I'm gonna push Dimitri out of the way. Don't, don't get near him. All right. So as you push him out of the way, it's gonna leave you right in front of him, and oh, his, his arm opens upward, like his fist sort of transformer style, fucking opens into a gun. Oh God! And no, I think we found him. <laughs> and blasts a massive hole in your chest. Well, he's gonna try to anyway. So, um, roll initiative why did I... real quick. Why did so... I save Dimitri? Oh my god. Okay, no, I've really got an uh, ability, but it's a standard action. But it says with a brief utter utterance you declare whether an attack hits. So, which one seems is like I can uh, make it so. But it's, if it's a standard action, I don't understand how you can ever use it. No, it's, it's, it's next attack roll, either a hit or miss. So you set it up in advance. So you that's one that would generally be like, your ally, you go, hit him, oh, Ryla, right. and then Ryla's attack hits. Or, okay. you know, a guy's yep. lining up a shot, and you go, miss, you little bitch, and they miss. Gotcha. 
Okay, so it's not able to stop this. No, not this. Although I can at least stop him from dying. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's yeah. just going to potentially take down a part of your party. Um, um, I'll also hit him with Price of Violence as well, which will make him blind uh, if it works. Is it Pardo on the co co is it a he on the combat tracker? Um, yes. I think a robot's right. technically a they, isn't it? Hey, maybe he has a PP, you don't know. Robo PP? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> um Hmm. What is this encounter? <laughs> what is this encounter? <laughs> Fuck me. Alright, sorry guys. Shit's gonna This is gonna down. hurt. <sighs> cool, I'm gonna die again. I hope you remember the sacrifice, Dimitri. If anyone's gonna remember a sacrifice, it would be Dimitri. Sure. The rest of us will just take it for granted. Yeah. And he sacrificed his dignity to stay with us. It's okay, uh, when you die, you can just take over better you? Oh, yeah. Okay. You, you know, the one with an arm cannon? Yeah. Yeah. I do like arm cannons. Jesus, Teddy fucking Christ. Uh, you're... What? Why? I'm building Things... the encounter. Oh, well, you, you know what? When the encounters are three chapters out, you, it's a pretty fair reason not to have it prepared. You know, what you could do is just not make the encounter and magic this away. So, uh -huh. that also means yeah. that this guy is probably going to be leveled for a significantly higher level party too, so this should be a fun fight. So, as he blasts at you, uh, clan, uh, this, fuck me, I, I like this power, it's called Slay the Living. <laughs> oh, no. Now, the blast, uh, isn't like any gun that you've ever, uh, seen before, fuck, it was <laughs> nearly a 20, Jesus Christ. You rolled uh, a 20? Nearly, oh, he's still unconscious, actually, he's not unconscious or blinded. Um, uh, he is blinded. Oh, why? Because I used uh, Price of Violence on him, which is a reaction. Now, hmm, you can't do reactions on a surprise, but technically are you surprised if he's attacking? I think at this point, like, we've been, we're pretty fucking suspicious, and if anyone, any one of the yeah, two were no, going to make fair. a move would that's be... Alright, I mean, he still has a minus five on the attack, and it still hits anyway. Um, but the blast goes off, and all you hear over the deafening eardrums, Ryla, is uh, like a ringing metal that seems to scream, steel endures and flesh rots. Uh, and you take all of the damage. That was, oh my god, like, literally my fort is 20. Holy moly cannoli. Jesus. And you are stunned, and you take... Ongoing 20 necrotic damage. Why? What? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm dead next... Or, well, I'm dying next round. Holy shit. Uh, and then with that, uh, he turns to the rest of you and says, Why couldn't you all just listen? And, uh, yeah, Pardo definitely is the, the baddie. But he looks like Ryla. <laughs> uh, and he raises one hand and, like, clicks... His fingers, but instead of a click, you hear a unearthly loud whistle, and then you hear uh, the guards from outside the cottage, um, inside there, uh, bust through the door, and each oh, of God, them. It's not just a solo. Each of them has glowing red eyes, and their fists are taking shape of weapons to point around the room. As there's. Fuck are these things? They are duplicate terminators. And the sound of battle begins. Uh, go ahead and roll initiative if you have not already. I believe everyone has now at this point. 
Oh, we're also a JD down. I'm going to remove one of these Terminators. Oh, oh, thank God. Just the one. It's just the one. <laughs> oh, I wish my fort was just the one. Can be the Pardo duplicate, please? <laughs> See, I have to quickly learn how my character works in combat again. Um, I will actually allow someone to play Orzov as well, if someone would like to. How, how many dice do I start? Three per encounter. I can play him, Two. but I'm very poopy. You're going to be just as bad as the rest of us. Yeah, but you guys will have a chance to read his page and see what things do. I will not be doing that. So would anyone like to take Orzov? He is freed up. I'll just roll initiative for him quickly. I guess if nobody else will. Go for it, Dimitri. You're our only hope. All right. First up is Zambolo. Okay. So um... Jesus, I'm sorry, I'm reading what my abilities do. So I can <coughs> target three squares. Uh, is that the one? Okay, I will ch charge uh, Pardo. Uh, how does this work? Which one of these abilities is my charge ability? Is it bull charge? No. Measurous assault? Right. Just do several hundred damage in one. Uh, that, that's what I'm trying to do, but I I wasn't expecting combat so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sort really? of like, ah. <laughs> okay. I I, th I think I know how to do this. So I will charge him, which okay. gives me a plus. Uh, Was it was it on charge a plus two? Where's button? Uh, a plus one to your attack. Plus one to the attack. I will make it a. What's the thing that makes it a power attack? So yeah. minus two plus six. It's the one, or is it? It must be. No, it must be this one. Okay. I'm going to hero point that. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> oh, oh, good. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. And I will expend. That will actually miss. Oh. Because you'll have a minus two that didn't come over on it. Ah. Uh, oh, of course, because of the first roll. I'll expend a healing search. Okay. Okay, I forgot that. Let's try that again. There we go. That'll easily hit. <laughs> yeah. Good so, hit. And I will expend. So I'll roll the damage. How much damage can I do? One million damage. Okay. So I will smack him with this and expend three polyhister dice for 3d8, but I'll have to roll that separately. Yeah. We don't have any effects here. No, I don't. Oh, 
I will action point since I'm right up in her face. Put that extra 10 damage on. Yeah. Because as you get close, you feel an enfeebling aura overtake you. This is that same thing that got fucking. Your mighty blow creates shadows. Uh, spider web cracks across his body, and uh, bits of Ryla fall away, disappearing in flickers of illusion, revealing a glistening steel endoskeleton. Huh! Oh, fuck, you're all supposed to be weakened. God damn. Oh, from when I entered the aura? Yeah, aura 2 is weakened. So, I uh, half that damage you did do. I can't uh, shake it off. It's just an aura. It's just an aura. Like, I can't, I can't use an ability to remove weakened. No, because it's non-construct creatures in the aura are weakened. Ah. Not. Okay. Aura. Get weakened or become weakened. Well, aren't I a construct as a... Ooh, Warforged? Actually, yes. I'll allow that. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Nice. Any more, <clears throat> any more things? <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, since I actually pointed, I will brutal advance with power attack again. Nice. Does what? Drink versus AC. Okay, so I can do that. Which knocks him back. He gets knocked yeah. back. Three squares. Uh, yep. And as a free action, I get to make a charge attack against him. Okay. So I will charge again. You okay? Plus one minus two. Wait, that was the damage. Uh, if I hit. And because I hit him with the bonus attack, I do damage equal to my constitution modifier. To myself, apparently. <laughs> and knock him prone. Okay. So, let me just remove that damage four on me. Oh, and the power attacks have been stacking. They haven't been clearing after each roll. Really? Well. Welp. That's right. But it's also been stacking the negative on it. Yikes. Uh, so yeah, it just does a bonus four damage to him, if you can put that on him. Okay. And that is my turn. Alright, I'm just gonna, just gonna put something. that on a map here real quick. Ah, oh, and I forgot, well, I forgot about my, to my totemic. Okay, that sort of cancels it out then, so... This grid is stupid huge, isn't it? No, it's just a small room. Oh, and I guess because I've hit him, he's uh, marked. Target them, hold shift, then on me. Here we go. So I'm like right up in this grill. Okay, I did it. I made the map. Hey! Proud of you. Proud of me too. Hey.
Okay, so his turn. Uh, was he prone or was he just knocked back? I I knocked him prone as well. Okay, sweet. So he's gonna stand up with his move action, and then he is going to uh, bat at you with his uh, his claws. His hands now take uh, back the form of uh, hands. They're not Ryla's hands. These are long, taloned, jagged nails. Um, and he, he begins to snarl and uh, growl, but in a, a, a metal metallic growl. So you'll make this attack twice, and if both of it hits, you will be knocked prone in addition to the damage. Oof, lucky. All right, so uh, he hits you once for 30 damage. And because he hit me, I'll take the immediate reaction okay. with my strike backs. I get to melee basic attack him. So I'll power attack on me again. Damn. Choice. Uh, so as you... Oh, yeah, you know, we can do this, right? Uh, as you, you're standing there, um, he snarls and like... A whole bunch of the the uh, illusionary Ryla skin on his body just sort of sloughs off and slides across the floor to just above Ryla, uh, where or just beside Ryla, sorry, uh, where it takes his form, Ryla's form, uh, complete with the crossbow and fires uh, the quick shot, which is your own attack against you, Ryla, uh, directly at you. Oh, lovely. Ah, oh, fuck the bug. Hang on one second. Why? Why would you do that? Yeah, wh- <laughs> Why would you do such a mean thing? <laughs> you ever do to him? I know! Just try to fault. banish him to a demiplane. Right? Actually, Ryla tried to murder him outright. Listen, I didn't try and murder him, per se. I just tried to make it so that he was no longer living. Fair? Exactly, see? Fine. No problem. I mean, (laughs) I don't know how well that would hold up in court, but fair. I can't Lawyer. be judged. <laughs> By... Only God can judge me? Exactly, yes, thank you. I'd rather be uh, carried by six than judged by twelve. Oh, my fucking head hurts so bad. Ah, that was the move I was supposed to use. Oh well. Don't you oh well me. I'm dead. I'm gonna die. I gotta gotta need oh well, it's only one extra week and dice. So that's not probably gonna make much of a difference at this point. I don't even think you can save me, Dimitri. Alright, I'm back, sorry. Uh so he Dimitri can save anybody. He shoots Ryder with his uh and myself. Uh, which is gonna hurt. Wait, hold on. What? Why is he using the eschatologist pistol? Oh, because that's it's a form of you. He just u- he uses your power against you. Son of a bitch! That's yeah. like the worst one to use. I'm gonna die. Ah! How how come you have no crit dice on your eschatologist pistol? Uh huh. <laughs> you should have one d eight. Because I never set it. I never set up an actual weapon. You're the worst. Oh, well, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna do the three D8 crit dice because I don't hate you. Oh, I appreciate that. <laughs> also, this weapon cannot deal non-lethal damage, so yeah, that's dope. Yeah. Uh, so uh, when's your turn, Ryla? Uh, let's see. Uh, at the very bottom. Well, just above Dimitri. So when you take 
another 25 damage, which will be very soon if that 20 goes ahead. Uh, you'll die. Yes, that's correct. So, the duplicate terminator is coming through the hallway. <laughs> and they run in. Uh, the arms outstretched as guns. One, two, three, four. This one is going to shoot at Zambro. Missing. Uh, number three yeah. is going to move forwards and shoot at Dimitri. Critting. And the last one is going to move forwards and shoot at Orzov. And misses. Okay. All right, Orzov, you're up. So I'm just gonna and uh, set counters. I guess I'm kind of going upstairs, but that counters being in melee yeah. range. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, radio. So for a start, <sighs> thingy I do to mark him. Nature's Wrath, I believe. Yes, I think that's correct. And as a minor action, he is going to use his form of Mountain's Thunder. And then he is going to, as an attack, use... Uh, one second. Right. Alt on him. Okay. Damage. And one enemy marked by you. Okay, that part doesn't work. Um, I'd also, it's a free action, uh, he's got a Banishing Blade, use this pair when you hit with this weapon, which I've done, he's banished to a Demi-Plane, which the same ends. Ooh. Wow. Nice. So, yeah, that takes him out of the fight, at least until he saves. Alrighty. Oh, uh. I should have made you weakened as well. But that's right, I'll take off half the damage you dealt. Okay. Ah, oh, <laughs> you did two damage, I won't worry. <laughs> <laughs> so he fumps into invisibility. Uh, leaving just the three Terminators here in the hallway. Ow! This Ow! Fun. <laughs> Ow! Uh, let's see. All right, you cool. don't die. <laughs> that's that's good, at least. Oh wait, actually, that would have been an automatic fail. Why? Uh, Why? I was stunned. Oh no, you're dead. Like, it doesn't matter. Oh, does that? Your, your oh, okay. Your is, is more than stunned. Okay. But also, you need to now do a. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, death save. That's the one. Uh, oh, that wasn't my death save. I was reading the combat track of the wrong way round. Holy shit. I thought, right, I had 107 health. Nope. Nope. 
<laughs> I'm like, what's he talking about? He's fine. Dimitri, yep. <laughs> Dimitri you're up. Okay. Um, one. So you're a fine Xambra here. You just do cure serious wounds on Rylar. Oh, thank you. And I'll also uh, top that up with a healing word. Guys, I think we should run. Thank you. Don't panic, team. Trowbro's taken over. There is no running. Oh, God. <laughs> That'll also give you a defense bonus um, because of a perk or something, I think. Thank you very much, Dimitri. Thank you for trying to save me. You're welcome. Uh... And it's back to Zambro. Uh, before it's well, back, before oh, this happens, oh. at the start of this round, uh, the door again slams open. Oh, God damn it! And in through the door... You see a number of faces that you recognize. You see Minister for Outsiders, Lyagier. You see uh, Kenna Vigilante, the aide to the king. And you see Merton Goncala. And they all bust in. And they're like, what the blue blazes is happening? Obscurity attacking. Trying to kill us. But we're the Obscurati, and we're definitely not trying to attack you. Wait. Wait. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh... <laughs> we're just used to blaming you. We're sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's... it's normally you guys. <laughs> Force of habit. Stop our toe, and it's like, goddamn Obscurati. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Lyagia looks taken aback, but immediately swings into action. She gestures to Merton, who goes, It was a pleasure! I don't know what his voice is anymore. Wow! <laughs> and at the start of the round, uh, he stumbles forwards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Up to the first Terminator. And uh, with the new staff, it's not quite as cool as the staff you stole from him. Uh, <laughs> <he> <laughs> swings at the two <laughs> Hitting. Uh, there is a thunderous clap, and he's blasted backwards into the wall. Uh, he then uh, looks to the other two, uh, swings his staff. What? Remind me not to fuck with these guys. That's uh, what we always do, though. Yep. Okay, remind me not to fuck with them. Where they can get us. And uh, very loud, like you can hear an audible thumb, uh, thrumming coming from around Merton. Uh, he seems to be letting off this the same aura of thunder damage, thundering presence that you've experienced in the past. But that is his turn. Zambro, you're up. Leave my friends alone! <laughs> and I will charge the sky. And do I still have power attack on me? I do. Okay. And I will... And he gets pushed the tight get back one square. So he moves back a square. So Dan. Yo, what's up? You move him back a square. No gay, sorry. And then I move into that square. And I get to smack him again. Make a secondary attack against the target. I still have power attack on. You are now within the aura of Merton. That's fine. Okay. 
all enemies within three squares to make a saving throw if they're physically ill. Huh. Can robots if, be physically ill? If not applicable, you gain free AP, so, you know. Yeah, you get a free AP. You get a hero Okay. Oh, I just unchecked it, so I can check it again. Sweet. So, I get to swing. And because I crit, I get a free melee basic attack. Nice. Which I guess I'll use the same ability. I'll, I'll drop a healing surge. Uh... Healing Surge is a main page. <laughs> and because I crit, he takes damage on going. Damn, dude. Ten. And he is marked. So target them, hold shift, put it on me. Sambro beasting on these duplicants. Trapper's mad! Fuck it, because I gained an action point. Uh, so you've bloodied it now, so... Oh, he does a thing when bloodied? Yes. Does he die? That'd be awesome. <laughs> That'd be uh, awesome. He is now... Uh, you, you, you strike gouges out part of his face, but it's only a cracked shell within which tiny machines give it a semblance of life. Uh, it is now vulnerable 10. All of its defenses are reduced by 5, and it takes a minus 5 penalty to saving throws. Nice. No. Um, would I have combat advantage against this Terminator? Uh, because Merton's on the other side of it. Yes. All right. Ah, oh, that's an effect on me, not an effect on an enemy. God damn it. Oh no. Can you give it an extra six damage, please? Yes. Thank you. And that's my turn. Yeah, extra damages should always be on you because it's going to your attack. Yeah, yeah. Not it's not a a, a straight up just damage click. Perfect. Okay. Um this Terminator, the one that got knocked back and deafened, uh, begins to sprint heavily towards you. And he is going to attempt to grasp you. Hitting. Dealing 21 damage and grabbing you. And while you're wow, Orzov, wow. <laughs> Sorry, because it came up with Orzov. I'm like, how dare you? <laughs> Yikes. Uh, you cannot speak while he has you grabbed. He's got his arm wrapped around your face. Then, uh, oh, he's just going to straight away throw you. So uh, he spins uh, and slides you across the ground, knocking you prone and sliding you one square. Uh, he's going to slide you there. And that's going to try and clip Merton with it. So because he gets slid there, it does say make the following attack against one target adjacent to the release creature. Technically, Merton's adjacent to it. Technically. Though it is going to do... Uh, 
Sport. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's alright. So, Merton That's takes brutal. 10 and you take a further 20 damage. Oh my god. Turn. Oh, oh, but he did. could terminate the dice. Huh? Oh, of course, because he had vulnerable from the damage ongoing. Perfect. Yeah, so he did. Well, he, you know, so vulnerable shouldn't trigger that, but he just takes ten. Oh, you know, he does. Fuck yeah, he did. He did a shit. He did. Uh, he he collapses into the ground. This one moves forwards to Merton, and he's gonna try and play bowling with Merton. Yes. Not gonna bother with the grab. Because he's just gonna slide him towards you, Zamro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Slide you there, missing you. Ouch. However, uh, the flung creature does take twenty damage. So Mitten takes twenty. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't hurt you. Mitten goes oof. Ouch. Uh, and then I'll take off. Uh, I will need to put the prone on though. For some reason, it doesn't appear to be working. Ugh, prone. Come on. Prony prone. Oof. He's playing bowling with you guys. Oh, Xavier! And yours off? Nah, uh, Davis. Oh, Davis. Oh, who's Uranus? Nobody's Uranus. Nobody's been Uranus. Huh. Someone's got him. Oh, that's Dave. Oh, yeah, I accidentally clipped him. Okay, I'll clear him. Gang's uh, all here! <laughs> so, go to this Terminator. Winter's Claws. <clears throat> what else can I do? Minor actions. Oh, I forgot to do Pardo's save on his turn. Lol. What does a close burst one again? Is that one in square front out of you? you. Yeah, one square out from you. Okay. Burst is around you, blast is in front of you. Yeah. So, hold on. So it is a. Yeah, so close burst one. Burst creates a zone of blood and grit that lasts until the end of the encounter. Zone removes with you, remaining seated on your space. Huh. So. So it is on me then, is it? So that would be that would get Ryler as well. Okay. Uh, it should say enemies in that space, though, doesn't it? Uh. Oh yeah, you and your allies in the zone have concealment. Marked enemies that start in the turn take damage equal to. Okay. Yep. So that will be a. Well, this is a bit. So it'll be like that, will it? Yes. Okay, so. You can use the sign of attack power. There's no damage. Do. Hello, sorry. Oh, Minister outside. Ah, she yeah. Okay. So, she gets to fully be a level 15 self. Oh boy. <laughs> so, she steps forwards, uh, looking at this Terminator that's off to the left, uh, and 
<laughs> Jesus, she's a lot of shit. <laughs> Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm gonna move it to there. So got two more squares. So she pulls out her Vorpal Rapier. So, unlike the rapier that you got cut up by, this one seems to have an extra, extra row of jagged blades. <laughs> <laughs> cut off some legs, liar! She gonna, she gonna do it. So, she is a exceptional duelist. Exceptional duelist. <laughs> I'm quite exceptional with this attack, she says. Oof, resisting. Damn. Uh, so that was a standard action. There was a minor. Uh, she pulls out a small pistol, uh, and makes an attack. Wait, what, what is a carbine? Carbine's a short rifle. So, this is called a Dancing Storm Carbine. Once each of it ten, once each round on a turn, she can make the following attack without spending an action, so long as she's conscious. The carbine can be damaged by melee or ranged attacks, but is unaffected by area close attacks or any sort of static damage effect. It has large defenses and 50 hit points. So does she summon Just summons one? a turret? Yeah. It sounds like it, yeah. Yeah, sweet. So she does that then. <laughs> <laughs> She's a drone commander. Uh, the only turrets I have are from 40k, so... Uh... That'll do. Yep, she puts it there. Uh, and it's going to attack the guy. Yep, hits. Which does only 10 damage, which is resisted. However, being hit by that, he takes ongoing 10 lightning damage and a minus 2 penalty to ranged or area attacks. Nice. That is her turn. Riley, you're up. And you are also up. Yay, Riley's alive. Oh, he's at full life. Whoa. Dimitri can yeah. heal a lot when he yeah, wants to. what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, 107 yeah. damage in a turn. Boom. Just you're healed. <laughs> Rise, my son. Sorry, I had to put my glasses back on. Uh, let's see. Man. Uh, I guess I'll stand up. Okay. Uh. That means I can't do any, like, I can't shift, right? Correct. Right. And. Once you downgrade your standard. Nah, and that guy is a, uh, concealed as well, I assume. Just allies on the effect. Oh, just allies, fantastic. And I'll do a thing. Let's see. No, I will not hero point much. Uh, I'll use Quick Shot, which does not provoke opportunity attacks. Iron uh, right. Should be check on that. It's okay. Oop. And we level not twenty one. Oop. And I can shift two squares. Beep. Or, whoops. Uh, as a minor action, I will uh, quarry him. Put, put Hunter's quarry on him. 
Okay. Guys, my quarry action is gone. Strange. Or it doesn't matter. Anyway. Uh, that'll be my turn. Alright. So any of these guys bloody you? No, you guys suck. <laughs> Dimitri, you're up. Hey, I bloodied one of them. Died immediately. That's true, he did. Dave? Oh, sorry, I was muted. Um... What was that, sir? Yeah. Sorry, just deciding which oh, okay. ability to use. Got another healing word. Go. I'll just give a um Actually, you're pretty beat up, aren't you there? I might I think you're pretty much the most beat up, aren't you? Oh, is that right? Yeah, Sambro's pretty yeah. good. Okay, so I'm going to use life transference on him. So mm -hmm. that will do that much. He uh, was what? <laughs> and, and on myself, I am going to take damage of my healing surge value. So whatever this value is, uh, take it off and minus it. Holy shit! Um, my healing surge value is... Okay, so yeah. I take, so give me 48 damage. Jesus. I'm pulling out all the stops on this one. <laughs> <laughs> A casual heal, fucking hell. Okay, so, oh wait, I'll Nuts. do it. So 48 plus 9 would be 57. No, wait, sorry, 14 plus 48. Okay, you might have to do it, because I can't seem to re-enter my hit points. thought I could. Oh wait, if I do it here. I think you can do this. Yeah, there you go. Oh. So I just did minus healing surge value for that one instead of plus. I didn't realize you could do that. That's awesome. <laughs> um, and then I guess, yeah, I'll do a, as a minor action, I'll do a healing word on myself. <laughs> and <laughs> almost be up anyway. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And, uh, yeah, so that's Dimitri. Damn, dude. Oh, hey. You know, I'm not very good on the attack, so at least I'm good at what I'm good at. Yeah. Uh, so, Kenna Vigilante, the, um, uh, what do you call it? The advisor to the Bruce comes and says what is the meaning of all of this ridiculousness uh, and it's at this point that one of the duplicates looks at her and says we have been activated uh, and then screeches out a metal sound and you see Kenna suddenly stop in her tracks 
and screech out a metallic sound in response. Her what? eyes flick red and she immediately attacks Lyre. <laughs> uh, can I can I talk? Go for it. Uh I'm gonna say to the rescue. <laughs> what? It was, the, it was the command phrase he used on the other one, so maybe it works on this one too. Alright. Oh dear. This is the one <laughs> he was talking to in the room, by the way. Oh, was it? Oh, perfect. So you say... The, the only problem is, now that seed was there not to deactivate her, but to activate her. Oh. <laughs> so, so that would be great, <laughs> except it's already been activated. Wait, uh, there's no... Wasn't there... So I could have sworn there was something else... Ah, oh, no, that's all I wrote down. <laughs> I can't remember if there was anything else. So just to let you know, that phrase was supposed to be known, or like given at a later point in the campaign to activate her. However, you decided to attack him in his house and discover Whoa. that he was a fucking robot. <laughs> <laughs> so now shit's been brought forwards. So uh, sorry that that one didn't have much of a payoff, but... Didn't expect this to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I just say, to the rescue! And nothing happens. Look like a fucking idiot. <laughs> yes, yes, they came in to rescue us like a round ago. You're a bit slow on the uptake, Ryla. <laughs> no, I, the Pardo, who is the command phrase, I thought it might stop her. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it, 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 it didn't stop her. Didn't stop her at all. Yes, you're definitely the right that I are. <laughs> I mean, the other one tried to shoot you. Oh well, I guess that would determine much either. <laughs> so she smashes into Lyre, who's going to react. Sorry, this is a bit like playing with my own fucking dolls. That's fine. I like to watch. So uh, <laughs> as uh. Lyre is struck. Uh, her eyes flare with fire, and a big ball of flame shoots out towards Kenna, uh, immolating her uh, and lighting her on fire. So Kenna is now a burning robot uh, who knocked Lyre away. Uh, how many squares? Uh, one square knocks her prone. Uh, and then... Uh, she is going to follow that up with a blast of dragon breath. Uh, centered there. And to think I was going to ask her out on a date. <sighs> Shame. So, four targets. Did everyone just get hit? Yeah. Okay. My fantasy grounds is probably just crashing. It's fine. <laughs> so Dimitri is bloodied. Mitt Hurt. is bloodied. Lagier is hurt. And Zambro is hurt. Huh. Maybe we could, like, take out the whole upper echelon in one night. Kenna well, does take 10 damage because Kenna We're actually team. having enough trouble just against the mooks here and the what's his name hasn't come back yet so well, I just mean you know just let these guys kill themselves and then run away Merton moves between these two and he's going to do a big thing Oh, actually, no, he's not going to move there. He's just going to cast a big thing. So an area burst 2 within 10. He's going to center it on the wall behind the Terminator and Kenna. Uh, he punts a melon-sized metal canister towards them that he pulls off his back. Uh, and when it lands, uh, everything around it seems to simply shatter. Um, it is ear-bleedingly loud. So Kenna's 
and is blasted out the door. Five squares. The duplicant is missed. Is only Ew, door blasters! And the entire section of the house within that area is simply gone. The roof is blasted hmm. off, the walls are blasted out. And every creature within 10 squares of the origin area, so that's everyone, is knocked prone. Dazed and deafened. And he shouts, Let's just get the fuck out! Uh, What'd you say? I can't hear! Yeah, that, you should be exactly, used to this, Ryla. That's the exact fucking problem. Oh, I didn't fucking target anyone today. Yeah, I think once uh, the big bad guy comes back, we're kind of fucked, so... Okay, maybe he shouts, let's get the fuck out of here, and then it blows up. <laughs> there we go, that's better. Wait, no, it's not. What the fuck? Oh, yes, it is. Yeah, that did everybody. Cool. Zambro, yeah. Europe. Uh, you're not speaking if you're trying to speak there, Trevor. Ah, I get, I, I get a thing, no act, free act, like a no action thing to clear dazed at the start of my turn. Yep. yep. Which I do. I make the save. So I'm, I don't, I'm not grabbed anymore. Yeah. So that's yep. cool. Um, I'll stand up so I'm no longer prone. Okay. Um. Jesus, nothing's in range. I can't charge anything. Uh, as a minor action, I guess I'll Warforged Resolve. How does that work? Three plus one half my level. I feel bloodied. Okay, that's fine. Sure. Uh, and I will change my stance to evasive. Yep. And I will take the full defense action. Okay, you're not going to leave? <laughs> I've used my move to stand up. Okay. Good action point. Or, oh, you already used it, haven't you? I've already used both of the one I got and the free one. Yep. Rip, rip. Rip, rip, rip. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next turn is Pardo. So he's going to make a save at the end of his turn, not the start. Uh, I'm going to do another save now because he didn't make a save last round. So if he makes it, he will come back. Uh, oh, God. Yeah. So he is. Oh, back. no. But that is at the end of his turn. So the Terminators are up. They see him warp back into existence. And this one is going to turn to Orzov and attempt to stab him with his spiky hands. And he misses. This one, uh, he is just going to stand as his action. And. Oh, he's still dazed, goddammit. Uh, also, you're up. You are dazed, deafened, and prone. Okay, so if I get up, um, that's a movement. Yes. Oh, that's a move action, and then that's your turn, unless you take an action point. Uh, I might think I will. I think, yeah. I, I don't know. I think, are we going to get out of dodge? Because I think this is going to get pretty bad if we carry on. What are you talking about? We're winning. <laughs> yeah, 
only reason we're doing as good as we is because I've sunk all my massive fucking. <laughs> yeah. And that was against the fucking mooks. All the dailies, man. They're all bad. Yeah. Now, um, remember, there is always the chance to leave. At any point, uh, you can run and be out of combat. There's no there's no penalty. You can escape. Well, there may be consequences, but there's no, like, you know, I'm not going to chase you down and kill you if you want your characters to run. That, that makes sense. Should get the Bruce. Yeah, I think we need to... I think we we call for backup. So he's going to uh, action point, and he's going to run, which I means he gets one up attack on me. No, so if you guys are all in cons- consensus that you're going to escape, you will escape this combat. And you can narrate <laughs> how you fucking leave. <laughs> you gonna you gonna run, Trump, or are you gonna stick around, buddy? I'll, I'll run and I'll I'll grab Merton and Liar on the way past as I run. Yeah. Okay. So as a group, as part of shaking himself uh, back into this section of reality, uh, Orzov, you you start gapping it down uh the rest of the group is collected uh merton and zambro help liar out who uh you know stumbles for a second but then uh comes to her feet and and starts running i can i can move myself uh and then you're all running out the door uh past kenna who's brushing herself up uh as the the strange robot um version of kenna uh, twitching and you know there's there's gunshots from the the fists and arms of the terminators as they give chase for a short while but as you run to the bruce's area um they are still chasing you though somewhat behind um and you you burst into the bruce's uh castle and the guards flock around you uh ordering you to stop uh and to not continue further uh, you all, you know, bloodied and weapons out and all that sort of thing. Uh, but all together, you and large years group. I'll put my weapons away and put my hands up and say, we're being chased! The yeah. Guys, Be that as it may, you stop now. Uh, and you can see that the Terminators behind are... Uh, appear to be keeping distance and watching what happens. So the okay. guards will be able to see them as well, right? They can see them in distance. There's not enough to see, like, any of the metal that's beneath their, their fake flesh or anything. Like, that. to them, they would just look like a group of people standing back. Uh, and from that group of people, Kenna begins to step forth uh, and, and shout out, I am the, the advisor to the king. What is the meaning of all of this? As she puts on she is shit again. a robot doppelganger. Some freaky shit is going on. Get the bros. The, to uh... the rescue? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing! We don't... It's gonna work eventually, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, as she's stepping forward, saying, like, you know, her red eyes are off, she's, she's back in Kenna's voice. Uh, I'm the advisor to the king, you know, uh, to to the Bruce. Sorry, let let me uh, let me through, let me through. And she gets up to your group, and then you say to the rescue, and she immediately turns back into a Terminator, <laughs> <laughs> and just fucking slashes and stabs the two guards nearest to her. Looks to you all, uh, and uh, well, <laughs> offer a thumbs up. Combat's back on. New encounter, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, but uh, guys, guys, I did it. Is that right? Can, can we just take a break? Because I don't fucking know what's happening anymore. <laughs> so I think the railway thing's just going to be thrown out the window. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. Uh, thank fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just going to pause this here. We're going to take a quick break. Okay, and we're back with a brand new map. Uh, so outside the court room, throne room, some are called throne room, uh... Kenna has just murdered two, like, here and here, with two more guards, who were just completely fucking slaughtered. Uh, and these four are like, Oh my god, what's going on? And uh, one of them smashes open the door above and shouts, Get out here! <laughs> and uh, <laughs> the other, <laughs> all the guards are like, What? Huh? And you see the Bruce and the, um, the throne up the top that's like, 
What is happening out there? I'm gonna give this and uh, yeah, go for it. And then uh, Apato and his duplicates, impossibly fast, begin to run up. And at the end of the first round, they will be where they are currently on the map. Um, until then, they are not on the map. Okay, just just so you know. But they'll be there. Okay. Uh, so everyone's rolled initiative. No, rather's rolled initiative. Everyone else, please roll initiative for this combat. Uh, did we take a short rest? Uh, you did ask, and I did say yes. Did I not do it? Oh. Uh, let, me do it. let me do it. Boom! Have a milestone. Yeah. yeah. Does that mean we can use healing surges? Yes. Yep. And uh, Merton Goncala is going to use his. So he is going to recover the 52. Minister of Outside is going to recover her whole damn health bar with one of hers. Uh, does somebody want to, else want to take oars of this time? Um, I'm not really sure if I know how to use them very well. Neither. I can attempt to. There's, there's a whole bunch of stuff he's got, and it looks complicated. You want to release him, Dan? Yeah. There you go. Uh, just close it and reopen it if it's not there. Yeah, oh no, I've got it. I'm just saying. I'm just quickly reading his powers. Okay. Uh, I can <clears throat> right. try Aranus unless we're not going to bring him in. I do not mind if you want to run Aranus. That will probably help your combat situation. <laughs> As he turns up. Oh, hello, guys. What's going on? Oh my god. Hello. <laughs> oh. oh. Uh, All I'm right. just going to re-roll everyone's initiative now because the short rest wiped it. Uh, oh no. Hey, you got... Never mind, I'll keep that. <laughs> Damn, bro, what happened to your 21? It's my 21 what? Initiative. Oh, I re-rolled it. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so... Kenna stabs the two guards, uh, but uh, as she does so, and as you say to the rescue, uh, a couple of the other guards around this area, <laughs> someone roll me a d12, please. I'm not, I'm not going to roll it. Someone needs to roll. Okay, good. Three. Okay. So outside, guard number four, two, and one all go red eyed. Inside the throne room, as all this is happening, you see there is a small gnome standing next to Bruce Shantis, and they appear to be in the midst of a conversation as all this uh, occurs. Uh, and the, the little gnome. Uh, seems to match the description of one Tinker Oddcock. Son of a bitch. And he looks over and he's like, Oh, Bruce, this is much sooner than expected. Uh, <laughs> and then the three guards closest to the Bruce and Tinker Oddcock also turn red. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. And Tinker says, I didn't want this to happen for quite some time. I don't even have anyone in place to per re to replace you. Uh, and this is so far fucking ahead in the book that I haven't even done his fucking token. So there's a T for Tinker Oddcog. <laughs> so Tinker Oddcog is bad then. Gotcha. He appears to be behind all of this. Uh, so the guards... How do you open the map, sorry? Oh, did I not share it with you? Yeah. 
maybe did you I'm try clicking on your token? Oh god. Well, who's going to go and speak to Gaveo now to take your place? And the Bruce stands up and says, What is the meaning of this odd cog? Uh, and Tinker Odd Cog says, The meaning is you have outlived your usefulness. And he, he flicks his wrist, and the uh, guards, oops, I missed one of the guards, the guards closest to him begin to swarm in uh, towards the Bruce. And this is all happening, and you guys can see all of this shit happening inside the doors. And the other guards who don't turn are like, The Bruce! And Lyagier and Merton are like, Fuck! The Bruce! We need to help him! Uh, and then Ryder, it's your turn. Alright. <laughs> oh yeah, Lya, join the Obscurati! You know, we'll change the world, help each other out. Well, what? The sky... What are you talking about? Why are you throwing shade at Lya now? Because she cut off Charbro's leg and she's been a bitch this whole time. This is not the time to discuss this. I mean, to be <laughs> fair, I did manage to grow most of it back. Yeah. And, and, then, and then I kind of lost them all anyway, so... That, that is true. But this is actually the perfect time because we're probably going to die. <laughs> as as uh, you guys are talking about this and as the shouts of the Bruce uh, going on, uh, Kenna seems to, like, falter for a second and her eyes flicker from red to not being lit up by lights. And brief second says, I've broken through. Please dispose of this. And then the red lights come back on and she continues to try and advance on you. So what are you doing, Ryla? Uh, yeah. Um... <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to try and, and uh, let's see here. Hopefully keep her out of the combat for a little bit because holy shit, she did so much damage to us. Uh... I have not done this before. Uh, I'm going to use my blaster beam shot. Okay. Uh, and I'll choose uh, freeze ray. Yeah. Let's try it out. See what happens. Okay, cool. Uh, <clears throat> the target of the attack or one of your choice if multiple defense is next standard action taking the full defense action in an attempt to survive the onslaught. Kind of useless for what I'm needed for what I'm doing, but you know what? That's fine. Take it. Better than nothing. Uh, oh. let's see. And cause it's a new combat. Ooh, so, bloody dude, fantastic. Uh, she is strain. Um, and vulnerable ten. I, I don't have a thing for that. Uh, against non-typed damage. <coughs> so I, vulnerable uh, 10? Vulnerable 10, yes. Uh, attacks that damage with kinetic force that might break ice, not energy. So I guess physical attacks uh, and we such? We'll just call it vulnerable 10. It doesn't really matter. The game doesn't really okay. do that. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> however, as you break her, uh, she twitches from that latest hit, uh, then looks around in confusion like she's just realized what happens. Uh, she appears to have broken free of whatever remote control uh, is overpowering Kenna. Uh, this is still a duplicate body. However, to truly prove that it was Kenna or like play the part of Kenna, she has been in control of it, but under compulsion. And now she appears to be completely in control of it as she drops to her knee and says, You must save the Bruce. Here. I will help in this fight. Uh, and she turns to one of the duplicate guards and rips out 
uh, his central core with a flick of her hand, uh, killing him. He drops to the oh. ground. Okay. I will do what I can before Tinker cuts me off. He will be here shortly. And then uh, she t- turns to continue fighting. So Kenna is now neutral. You can continue to fight her body if you like. But yeah, she did say that Tinker will be here shortly. Tinker, who's in the throne room. Uh, Alright, well, shoot her a thumbs up. And I guess that's my turn. Okay. Uh, this guard up here is going to go and attack the Bruce. And the Bruce just completely tells him to go fuck himself. This guard, not really sure where to go, uh, will double move up to the ones that are swarming the Bruce. And try to attack. Nope. Uh, This one will attack you guys. Uh, So it's going to attack Dimitri. Oof, hitting. So Dimitri takes 26 points of damage. Oh! And until the end of the swarm is next turn, the target provokes opportunity attacks even when you shift. So even if you shift now, you'll provoke opportunity attacks as these guys hit all of you. This one's going to attack Horanus. He's like, hello, ow, ow, hello, ow. Because that never gets old. Oh, it's too <laughs> old. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're right. This one will shoot, shoot the Bruce. <laughs> the Bruce is hit with a gunshot. He lets out a roar of pain as he is wounded. This one will also shoot the Bruce. Probably. Oh, uh, where do we run to next? Uh. This one will turn and stab the guy that's punching him. I don't know, buddy. Uh, you will have a clue in a second. It's these guards. So these guards shout, <laughs> "We need to get the Bruce through the labyrinth." He moves up to here, and he's going to attack Tinker. And as he brings his hammer down on Tinker, uh, the the body of Tinker just disintegrates, falls a bit, metal bits, just shatters completely, and is dead. What? It was a a metal duplicate. Tinker is not here. Gosh. What is going on? Merton shouts to the Bruce quickly. Uh and he will just smack this guard to try and get him out of the way. Hey, nice. And on a critical hit. Fuck him up. Damn. Pushes him there. Making that there. guy now bloodied. Out of uh, crits being rolled tonight. Yeah, fuck yeah. So when they're bloodied, they become vulnerable, so they're easier once they pass that point. Oh, and then he's going to move inside. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, Ozov, you're up. Oh, that's me. Um. <laughs> huh. Uh, the guards are shouting we can go out the back balcony um, who was the war veteran the year assault veteran that's uh, that was Jack Trabro right. wasn't it Trabro Trabro wasn't it no he, I've always been a martial scientist oh that would have been uh, that Jack been, Slade yeah. that would have been the oh and the general yeah and also um, the general Orzov's movement. Six. Well, that's not good, because some shit's going to happen at the end of this round. That would have been really helpful if a veteran had been here. (laughs) Orzov seems like the sort that would go, and... 
double move to back the Bruce up. Yeah, I think that seems like a thing. Boom, doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, Kenna. Kenna's gonna try. Fuck up this guard. Gonna use her dragon fist. Fist him good. Yeah, Kenna. Or don't. <laughs> good work, Kenna. <laughs> uh, however, Kenna isn't gonna try and grab him. Good work, Kenna. Wow. And she goes, oh, leave now. Uh, as the, the the metal biceps in her arm bulge and twang against the uh, the Terminator just there. Uh, Dimitri, you're up. Uh, so, if I use a minor action, can I still run? Or do I have to yeah. just... Yep, yeah. okay. I might a do a healing word on, I think, myself. I don't think anyone else is too bad yet. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. No damage here. Kenna's okay. pretty far. I... <laughs> I was. <laughs> no, Kenna, sorry. Okay, so healing. That's better. Uh, and then, yeah, I am going to book it. So, run, is it double move or is it double move in some. I can't remember. All the rules are so different you can rules. Either so, use blending. the run action as a move action, which gives you two extra squares of movement but makes you really vulnerable to attack. Uh, and or you can downgrade your standard into another move action. So you can either move twice normally, or run once, or run twice, if you liked. Okay, I might do run twice. So that would be... So that would be 6, 8. So you'd have 16 squares of movement, and I'll put the running effect on you. Yeah. 1, 2... Oh, this has got dynamic lighting. Yeah. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and yeah, obviously I'll take an op attack. Sweet. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Ah, that's how you lock tokens. It is better if I lock tokens as well, then it's a nice smooth dynamic thing as you do your movement. Alright, um, so Dimitri's turn. Oh, you're still going to do a minor action, eh? Or have you already done? Oh, uh, I already healed myself. Sweet. Alright, Aranus, you're up. Um. So, uh, okay, I'll just... um, are we running, then? <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's like he's here with us. <laughs> <laughs> Wowie, yes. Wowie. All right. Um. <laughs> oh, so y'all, y'all are up there, huh? Trust Zambro to run after us, even though I shouldn't do that. Uh, speed. <laughs> <laughs> I'll move to there. <clears throat> there, Verse two. Shit. Uh, if you run, uh, sorry, run is double move, and that takes your no. So standard. running is an action, a move action, which you can do with a single move, or you can downgrade your standard and move twice. But you can run for both of those moves. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh... <coughs> Welcome. Uh. Shouldn't do that. Um... Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to double move that. Or, yeah, uh. So that would be, if my base speed is 5, so that'd be, what, 20 squares? Or if I'm downgrading my standard action to a move action? Wait, what? 
Or no, two squares. I'm sorry. I, I keep fucking. I'm, my head is fucking killing me right now. <laughs> uh, I am, I am not able to. Super. Uh, plus two squares. That's right. So. Down, it's a, oh, fucking square. Five. Nine. Move to there, and that'll be my turn. Okay. Or actually, uh, no, I'll action point. Bear in mind that with running on, you will have like a minus five to attacks. That's right. Never mind. Not gonna action point. Okay, that's my turn. Sweet. Okay. It's <coughs> going to. Oh, I don't know if I can move. Gonna run as well into the room and Zebra, yeah. Oh shit! Whoa! I just skipped like a thousand people. Okay, Zebra, yeah. So running's double your movement, right? No. Oh, sorry. Uh, plus two to your movement. Yes. So you can run twice? You can run twice, or you can move twice if you don't want all the penalties that come with it. I'll run twice. Okay. Ooh. And that'll give me a minus. But that's oh, cool. Ah, yeah. oh, thank you. And yes, that's my turn. Okie doggy. The Bruce. Uh, oh. So the Bruce has a civilizing presence as well, which um, you guys should be able to to read if you click on that in the chat now that you're all in the room sorry uh, what was that if you click on the thing in the chat that i just linked that says aura that is big enough for this whole room oh, um, okay. <clears throat> now he turns to the guard that's attacking him and uh he like swings his hands as if he's holding a hammer and a mighty mallet as mid swing materializes in his big meaty hands uh, and he swings it at this guard and misses because what the fuck however uh it hits the ground with such force that the target and each enemy adjacent to it so it's just a target at this point takes 12 damage and is pushed one square oh well, that's pretty brutal <coughs> he's a big hammer I you haven't updated this freaking this Bruce this this wasn't a fight you're supposed to have uh, so, <laughs> so he is smashed away uh, and then the Bruce is going to uh... <laughs> he looks over to you all and says thank you for coming to my aid uh and the closest one is dimitri and uh dimitri you lose a healing surge as uh you you feel a momentary surge of strength but then you realize that he simply needs you to defend him uh so you lose a healing surge and he gains 25 temporary hit points <laughs> wow that's, <all> good. <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of what <laughs> dimitri does yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's like a reverse healer. <laughs> and then this guard is going to come over to the one that thing is holding and attack. What the fuck? All right, so Pardo and that get there and are now at this location for this round. So Riley, you're up. Okay. You can see Pardo and the, the Terminators coming in quickly. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. 
Uh, I'll move. There. Okay. And then. Um, I thought I could do something else here. Yes, not. So instead, I will change that and do. It'll be a run. Then I'll downgrade my standard action also to a run. Uh, uh two. There. Oh fuck! Sorry, this is the start of a new round. Um, before you move, I'm going to describe what happens, and you can freely change your choice of action. Okay. Uh, Trabro, you were in the military, weren't you? Even though you don't have the, you're not a veteran, but you were in That's the military. That's correct. Please roll me. Um. Either history or streetwise, please. <clears throat> also, Dan, I have to leave in like two minutes. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's how I'll finish anyway. Actually, that'd probably be a good point to finish. We'll uh, leave your turn unstarted. So, at the end of the last round, uh, Zambro, you hear an all too familiar whistling. Oh, dear. It's the sound, the unmistakable sound of artillery ready to land as it whistles in from overhead. Uh, if only Periwinkle was here. Yep. Yeah, what he'd a... char tell us to charge in under the artillery fire. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? I think... <laughs> I think literally nobody has any idea what the fuck's going on. Like, the enemy doesn't know what the fuck's happened. We don't know what the fuck's happened. The Bruce doesn't know what the fuck's happened. Hannah doesn't know what the fuck's happened. It's just a big clusterfuck. Yep. So artillery begins to land and blow chunks out of the court. Uh, the first shots land on the walls uh, to the left and right of the, the main chamber. Uh, the second and third shot land upon the roof of the building you're in knocking rocks and other debris down around you. Uh, and then one shot lands uh, just in the courtyard, just slightly off to this side, uh, and a massive shower of rubble and uh, debris has flown throughout the area. And everyone just looks around, what the fuck? <laughs> Where did this come from? And uh, yeah, with that, we'll, uh, we'll end the session. <laughs> All right. So the cliffhanger. Dope. What a clusterfuck.